Hey everybody and welcome to my Octandy 2023 video. You're probably thinking, Octandy, what the hell? Didn't we just have Septandy? Yes we did, and there was one more upgrade I wanted to do to my Coco 3 that I wasn't able to get done in time. So we're going to celebrate it during Octandy, where people like me that didn't finish up in September need to put out a video in October with Tandy computers. So what we're going to do in this video today on my Color Computer 3 is put in the Hitachi 6309 upgraded CPU and possibly do the recap. So sit back and relax and let's jump right into it. Here is my Coco 3. I have not put the screws back in yet because I wanted to do this CPU upgrade mod. So we're going to take the lid off like so. What I need to do is remove the keyboard, which is super easy to do. I am also going to remove the triad memory upgrade for uh, doing the recap because there are caps that are really close to where it's at. Here is the CPU that I'll be replacing. It is not in a socket, so I'm going to be taking this chip out, installing a socket, and then uh, putting in the new CPU. So let me remove the keyboard and I'll show you what that looks like and we'll continue on with the upgrade. The keyboard is now removed and you can see how dirty this case is on the inside. Um, I did blow it out, but apparently somebody spilt some gunk in here um, back in the day, so I'm going to clean all of this out. And again, I'm going to be removing this momentarily, but to get the board out, you got to remove a few screws. There is a screw here, a screw here, and these two screws here. And then you also need to unplug the power connector here. And then the board should just lift right out. So let me remove the Triad 512K SRAM memory board, and then pull out the uh, motherboard to get it ready for the CPU replacement, as well as the recap. The motherboard has been removed from the case and wow, look at all that dirt and grime and stickiness. I'm going to be giving this thing a really good clean before I put it all back together. Uh, something I did notice on the keyboard, there's a, where the keyboard goes, there's this little rubber grommet here, but I'm missing one over here and this thing had never been opened before. So I don't know how that happened, but, uh, and there's a little rubber pad here. So I'm going to look through my, my stash and see if I have like a little rubber gasket or grommet or something to put over here to make that all balanced out. I'm going to show you the board real quick and then I'm going to start uh, removing the original CPU, putting in the socket and uh, probably doing the recap as well. Here is the Color Computer 3 motherboard removed from the case. And before I can start, you know, uh, removing the CPU, putting in a socket, and recapping the board, I needed to remove the RF shield off the back. And to do that, you got to remove all these little like push through clip things that go through all the holes all over the board. And that took a little bit of time. Um, I just grabbed some needle nose pliers and squeezed and pushed them through. So now the board is free from the RF shield. And we know how much Adrian of Adrian's Digital Basement loves RF shields and to remove them. But I will be putting this back on the board once I'm done because it's there for a reason, Adrian. But here is the bottom of the board. And it looks like there's been a little bit of rework done here. I don't know if that, no, that couldn't have been done as a warranty because there would have been a different sticker on the bottom. So that must have been done during production. I don't see any bodge wires anywhere. But the board, oh, look, there's some some crusties right there. I'm going to clean all that up. If I see any marginal solder connections, I'll touch those up and I might even put the board through the ultrasonic cleaner as well. All right. Now to take the board out to my bench and start working on that CPU. With the help of my Hako FR301 desoldering gun, removing the original 6809 CPU from the Coco 3 motherboard was pretty easy. 
I went ahead and put in a 40 pin socket and I removed the memory board upgrade from my previous video and then I officially removed the C65 capacitor as well as the C66. If you remember from my original video, I just clipped a leg on each one, but I wanted to do it all professional-like. Here is the Hitachi 6309 CPU that will be going in the socket momentarily, but I want to turn the board over and show you some of the work that I did. Earlier in this video, I was showing the back of the board and it was really crusty right there. I've got that all cleaned up. And over by the RF area right there, it was all crusty. I cleaned that up. It was just some old flux. Not a big deal. So the bottom of the board looks really good now. Let me flip it back over and tell you what else I did. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you so much for your support. Here is my Coco 3 motherboard again. I did go ahead and recap it. Those are all the old capacitors. And I got those from console five. I have a link in the description. This is not a sponsored video, but I do order a lot of cap kits from them. So now I need to go ahead and install the Hitachi CPU into the socket, put my cloud nine memory board upgrade back in, and then put this in the case. And speaking of the case, I did clean it out. I'll show you that next. Here it is, the bottom of the Coco 3 computer case all cleaned up. Remember how grody it was over there? All cleaned up. All around, I just wiped it out with a paper towel, some Q-tips, and some Windex. It looks really nice now. I know no one else is going to see the inside once it's closed, but I like having my machines clean inside and out. So now that's taken care of. Time to put the RF shield back on, put the motherboard in, and give it a test. Here we go, I got everything roughly put back together. I got my switcheroo cable hooked up to my Samsung monitor here so we can get the awesome RGB. Now for the smoke test. Let's go ahead and hit the power button. Hey, and it still works after recapping and putting in the Hitachi CPU. Pretty sweet. Let me put the lid on real quick. And then I'll tell you why I did the memory upgrade as well as the CPU upgrade. Stand by. Well, here is my awesome Color Computer 3, all upgraded with its brand new Tandy 512K badge, as well as 512K of RAM, thanks to the Cloud9 memory upgrade. I've got a link for that in my description below. I also upgraded the stock CPU, which was a 6809, with the Hitachi 6309. And the reason for that is it runs much cooler. It has additional CPU registers and enhanced instruction set that works for, you know, enhancing games and things, homebrews, which I'll be doing a lot of those on my channel, showing some Coco homebrews. And what else? Uh, did I mention the recap? Yeah, I recapped it. The machine was running. The original cap capacitors look good, but I went ahead and recapped it while I was in there because I figured, you know what, future proof it and hopefully I never need to open up the machine again. And right now I am running the awesome Arkanoid cartridge in RGB mode, thanks to the switcheroo cable, which comes from Coco Man, as well as Arcade Chopper sells uh, those cables as well. Links in the description. With that, thank you for watching my Octandy 2023 video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one.